Hey! In electricity, you will hear about voltage and current. Current is the easiest notion to understand. When we talk about the current of a river, we see what it is. But we can ask ourselves the question, why is water moving? Water starts to move when there is either a difference in altitude between two points. Or a difference in pressure. In electricity, the cause is voltage. Well, in the hydraulic analogy that will follow, I chose the second case, the pressure difference between two points. On the left we have a circuit, with pipes that contain water. On the right we have a circuit with metallic wires, which contain electric charges. You immediately understand that the pump and the battery are compared. The battery is a bit like the pump in this circuit. Here there is a difference between positive and negative terminal. As there would be a difference here, between red and black. Here the pressure is strong. And on the black side the pressure is low. We can already guess the direction the current will take. The current does not flow here. It is prevented because the switch is open. And here the valve prevents water from circulating. If electricity is allowed to pass, current flows from the positive terminal to the negative. If water is allowed to pass, current flows from high pressure to low pressure, like the wind. They go down, they descend the pressures. There, the pressure difference that there was at the terminals of the valve disappeared. There is always a difference in pressure there. But there it disappeared. It's almost the same on the right. The pressure difference on either side of the pump is still there, but less. This will be true for the stack too. The pressure difference here is the same as between the pump inlet and outlet. And there will be a voltage between these two points. So, to measure the current, well, if it's water, there is a water meter in your house. It should be associated with a stopwatch to measure the amount of water passing per second. This analogy helps us understand what the ammeter is doing here. It measures the amount of electricity per second. It measures the current. That's it for this video. Thank you.